All right, welcome back. Now, thousands of men and women participated in a march against women and child abuse in Pretoria. Uh, the march took place last week. Now, the Not In My Name march is a stand against gender-based violence. This follows a rise in a number of women and children who have been abused, raped and killed in recent weeks. This weekend, another march will take place in Soweto. But to tell us more about the march, we joined in our studios in Johannesburg by uh, Andile Kaili Siwishes, one of the organizers of the march. This is Andile, good morning to you and thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. Good morning. Now, tell us more about this match. As I said on my introduction, that so much has been happening. Well, enough is enough, basically. Yeah. You know, I think we are all sick and tired of reading every day about um, these murders the, and, and the latest trend now, women, women being burnt, um, little school kids being abducted, stabbed. You know, it's, it's business unusual in South Africa. In fact, it's a sad day in South Africa. You know, if the women and children of this country are not safe, then we might as well consider ourselves a country at war with ourselves. Um, so, you know, as concerned citizens, we decided um, let's, let's put together something that will tell whoever out there. Because when you track the stories, it looks like there's either a syndicate or a group of people who are behind these things. For instance, this quantum. Yeah. Um, this quantum is still there. I was telling you off air two days ago, you know, one guy in a quantum raped three women who had taken the taxi from a protea to a bar. Um, and, and, you know, it's enough now. Yeah. So this march is to say, is to highlight that, that not in our name will any more women, children, you know, be maimed and raped. Mm -hmm. um, but also to say that the march is just a, is just a starting point. Mm -hmm. um, we need long, longer term um, actions. Yeah. We need civil so society to come together. And that whole thing of if you know that your brother is a perpetrator, at that point that you realize that truth, he stops being someone that you protect. Because, you know, it, it, it could turn around. It mm. could be you. We should be talking about those things, basically. Yes, and, yes. Uh, um, and reporting them. You were also saying that parents should also be vigilant with the surroundings of their kids. For example, if their kids start bringing those beautiful gifts home and yes. expensive shoes and handbags, they should be worried. I need to this, this trend of blessers. Yeah. So, you know, as, as, as a society, there needs to be things that we do not condone. But you've heard in some of the highest echelons people talking about blessers mm. as, as part of our normal society. Mm -hmm. It's not. A, a young girl, you know, um, having a weave that is 4,000 rands and she's in school and she cannot afford it, when she walks into your house as a mother, what do you say? Do you allow that? Mm -hmm. That handbag that you know d you didn't buy? Um, in some instances, it's even the moms who say, you know, yeah. you know, so, and, and, but at the core of this, let's not, not talk about the elephant in the room, poverty. This is why whoever is kidnapping these girls, um, taking the, these body parts and then burning them, is using the fact that people out there are poor, are hungry. So they'll do whatever it takes for Rimali, quick money. Mm -hmm. um, there's a girl who was recently abducted, a Mandela Bridge. Unfortunately, or fortunately for her, she woke up, even though they had drugged her, she woke up um, during this trip and she heard these two guys who had abducted her telling whoever the buyer is, 21-year-old, yellow bone, we are on our way bringing her. Sure. Um, and when she heard that, she opened the door and she threw herself out. Yeah. She's in hospital recovering now. Yeah. And you were telling me earlier on that it even goes back to our soul peas, our dramas here in South Africa, yeah. because they are in a way sort of, um, should I say, promoting these acts? Because those are the storylines that we watch of late. Witchcraft has taken over. Um, Is that what black people are about? Witchcraft? I've not seen, and, and these are my colleagues, but I will, I will speak and I, and I say to them, I don't see enough of um, soapies or dramas that will show a family um, and how they raise their kids mm -hmm. and teach people. We need to understand Asika Amerikala. This is not the bold and the beautiful or days of our lives or any of those things. Whatever we put out there as the media has to be something that reconstructs and teaches our people. Um, we're still at a place where if you're playing a villain in a soapy and someone dislikes what you, the role you're playing, when they see you in the street, they slap you because to them it's real. Yeah. So if you're going to show um, Umam Lambo, 
for instance, on Generations. A couple of days later, we had a man, a para, two men, with huge snakes saying, if you pay 20 rand, Mamlambo. that 20 rand, Mamlambo will give you 200 yeah. rand. Yeah. Um, on, on Mzansi Magic, mm. Angazbati, guys, or something, they're showing uh, body parts being sold. Yeah. But we, we once had be. an expert here, as Sandila, and I'm going to bring this to you because you present Kumbule Kaya. They were talking yes. about broken families. Oh. That, that is where the problem starts. This is what you, you, you look into every Wednesday on your oh, show, yeah. Kumbule Kaya. Oh, yes. Um, you know, boys trying to find their fathers. In fact, we, we're doing a, an injustice to our, 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 our children. Okay. Because when you father the child and you leave that mom, mm. fine, the relationship breaks. Yeah. But... That little boy needs a man to look up to. If you don't teach him, the streets are certainly going to teach him. And what they teach him, you're not going to like. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of the times, we, we've got to edit the story because we want to tell, we want to be authentic, but we also want to give dignity right. to, to our characters. So okay. we'll never show, you know, everything. But All right. No, we'll leave it at that. But the there. match takes place this weekend. So Friday, the 26th of May, okay. uh, 10 o'clock, UJ Soweto campus. From there, we move to Regina Mundi and we hand over a memorandum and have a conversation. All right. Now, let's leave it at that. Thank you so much thank for you. To us. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much it. indeed. There you have it. Uh, that's Andile Kaili Siwe, uh, organizer for the match that takes place uh, this Friday, saying that enough is enough for the killings and the rape that are happening in South Africa. Something has to be done. Uh, we have to act as a collective, as she said. All right, there's just a little.